like a deranged Debbie. Wasn't that her name from Napoleon Dynamite? Oh my god, you guys, please excuse my face. Just maybe pretend I don't have one today. I am halfway through putting my makeup on and I stopped to like eat dinner and I then instead of finishing putting my makeup on, I sat down to film a quick video with you guys and now my phone's ringing. I think I'm gonna do like my Clockwork Orange makeup. I had like an eyelash issue today, not with my real natural lashes, thank goodness, but I I've been wanting to do a video about the world's longest eyelashes and I bought so many pairs from AliExpress and they all came smashed and so I think that's why I'm just like like what 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 am I gonna do today I'm gonna show up on camera like this with my makeup halfway done see I try and put orange like under my foundation <laughs> but until I layer my foundation over this it's gonna look you, you know what no one cares also everybody just place your bets now for banana man back here he's holding on for dear life he has little magnets in his hands so just place your bets now is banana man gonna hang on to the end of the video i don't know you don't know banana man do you know why would you do this to me sounds like he doesn't know anyway i forgot to do the intro so let's do that now when i say bananas you say peppers and today we are doing the wacky packages as promised if you guys watched my video last week i unboxed some of the micro toy boxes and well, you know what these are not from world's smallest brand i don't think it's just it's it's confusing, but we all really loved the micro uh, toy box ones last week. And I said I tried to order seven from Big Lots. The packaging is very similar. And so when I picked up my curbside order, they actually gave me four season two wacky packages and three of the toy box minis. So we opened the toy box minis and now it's time to open the wacky packages season two. And I actually knew for a little while now that there have been wacky package season two you guys really seem to actually like when we unboxed season one last year i feel like i was like kind of on the fence about these like some of these like wacky package things like were actually kind of icky and uh, some of them were pretty funny i guess that these were like trading cards a long time ago kind of like the garbage pail kids isn't that what they're called what is the spoof of cabbage patch kids i think it's garbage pail kids so this is kind of like that except for it's spoofs off of like groceries and stuff it looks like they've extended it beyond groceries this year because right on top this one is so funny it says lame boy instead of game boy so i think maybe they introduced like not just some food items for season two i don't know despite the fact that i love i don't know like i'm i'm kind of like just a weird person i guess because i love like creepy things scary things but then i'm like i don't really like coffins you know what i mean <laughs> name graveyard girl doesn't like coffins i don't know you know what i mean but i like ghosts yeah, like skeletons. It's just coffins. You know what I mean? I don't know. Something about that grosses me out. Is Does that illustrate the point I'm trying to make here? I don't, maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, um, so we have four wacky packages to open today. There are 82 different wacky packages um, to collect this season. I think in season one, there was only 50 to collect like the toy box miniatures. I think there's like 52 or something to collect in that series. I feel like I keep like shaking my head today. I've had way too much caffeine and yet I keep drinking more. Anyway, so let's unbox this. I also feel like obviously um, wacky packages are kind of popular right now because I feel like they're the gross out version of five surprise mini brands. That's I couldn't even think of what mini brands were called for a minute. Five surprise grocery brands. That's almost what I said. All right, let's open this one first. This is the one that I already showed you guys that has the lame boy. 
on top. So here we have the Lame Boy, meant to be a Game Boy. And I honestly can't even see what is on the packaging there. Ooh, I wonder if it's gonna be a little bit more detailed this time. That was one of the other things that I was like not that crazy about the wacky packages because I just feel like they're kind of trying to compete with mini brands but they're not as detailed as mini brands in my opinion um, because like most of the things I think are like boxes with stickers on them. So I've actually come to appreciate these boxes a little bit more because the mini brands boxes I feel like get smashed all the time since they are just little pieces of cardboard. This you obviously can't crush, but I just wish we saw like more variety, I guess. All right, so here are all of our other, so you get one on top and four little things to unwrap. So does this, so these also do say world's smallest. That's really interesting because the micro toy box also ended up being world's smallest, but they had like world's smallest ones in there. Like ones that they actually had this just, I'm not even going to try and explain that. So we have Hertz pasty tomatoes. Ew. Okay. Swallowing this stuff really hurts your stomach pasty tomatoes maybe because actual hunt's tomato sauce says tasty tomatoes on the bottom of the packaging so the can does look a little bit more realistic i feel like there's like more stuff to read on these if that makes sense it's like a whole sentence for you to get the joke um all right next one is something else. Oh my god, this is perfect for me. Advil. My life source. So this says Anvil. 500 pounds of iron. Add more iron to your system. May cause minor headaches. Oh my god, so he's got an anvil crashing down on him. I wonder if this, I can't tell right now, but I wonder if this actually like says something it looks like we have a barcode on top. Okay, so I can see now it's just like little lines. See, that's what I'm saying. I wish they were just a little bit more detailed because you guys know the mini brands, like it actually looks like, like everything that's written on the real packaging of food is microscopically written on the mini brand. See, this is a good example. This is nutten, nutten butter. <laughs> It's supposed to be Nutter Butters. If this says bunch of old rubber bowling shoes. Um, see, I wish that these were like actually a package. Do you know what I mean? Uh, this is still just like plastic with a sticker on it. I kind of, I don't get the joke. Nut and butter. Is that like a bowling joke? Why would it be bowling shoes in particular? Bunch of old rubber bowling shoes shoe soles. Sometimes I feel like I say stuff that is like so stupid while I'm filming the videos and even as I'm going back and I'm editing that I'm like how do you not get that joke or that phrase or like what that means and I'm wondering if this is gonna happen to me now if I'm gonna get some kind of bowling joke uh hours later when I'm editing this. So let's see here what is this? Oh, it's macaroni for geese. Okay, see, I like this. Macaroni for geese. The queasiest. Oh my God. Okay, and the brand is Cramp instead of Kraft. And it's got a goose on it. And it's like, there's like worms in the noodles. But this is like funny to me. I don't know why this one's like particularly funnier. I guess because it's just so, it's so silly, you know? So, macaroni for geese. I like that one. Okay, so those were our first five. Let's move on to this one. It has like a milk bone dog joke on the top. Uh, let's see. This is just gonna be a video of like, can Bunny get any of the jokes? <laughs> um, milk foam brand dog toothbrush. It'll make your pet roam from home. Oh my God, give your dog the brush? I feel like that's something they would say in like an old, like Al Capone movie, you know? 
We're gonna give them the brush, hey? Eh? Pretend like I didn't say that. Okay. Um, oh, I forgot the sticker. Frosted snakes. Oh my God. Smell logs, frosted snakes. They're gross. He looks like he's also foaming from the mouth. This just must have been a whole animals foaming from the mouth experience. Uh, all right, let's see. I'm gonna open this one because this looks like another can. Ditch boy paint? I don't understand the joke. I know that there's Dutch boy paint. Oh, use this paint, then ditch your clothes. Slops on shirts, socks, and slacks. Okay, I guess that makes like more sense. So it's supposed to be a paint can. But once again, you know, just a little bit of an art, art, art critique here. You know, if I was gonna display this in the Louvre, I would want the tin can to look like tin can. It's kind of funny though. Ditch your clothes. Does anybody say that anymore? Ditch your clothes? It's so funny. I feel like these are like, I don't know why I want to say these are like from the 70s. I wasn't in the 70s. Is this from the 70s? Is this like, I feel like like spoof stuff. That was like the 70s. No? I don't know. Uh, okay, we have choke, ch oh, chocolate flavor. <laughs> Y'all! Ah, okay. <sighs> All right. Chocolate flavor evil time. Oh my God, it's supposed to be Ovaltine. Rich chocolatey Ovaltine. So this is turning milk into witch's brew. I love this. It makes you spell bound. And there is a witch and little frogs. On this, I thought this was pasta sauce at first. So this one is a little bit more detailed, but still nowhere near as detailed as many brands. Cause this, like you can actually see like a seam along the bottom of the jar. Evil time. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. I'm too caffeinated for this. Let me see, what is this gonna be? Oh, we got more macaroni and geese. Oh, oh gosh dang, the label is peeling off of this one. Let's see if we can just stick that back down there. Macaroni and geese. And last one. I forgot to, oh, we got another dang lame boy. I forgot to even bust out the charts. I'm so there's a Snapple one. I literally forgot. Could I just keep repeating myself? <laughs> I forgot to show you guys the chart. So we have so many gross things that I'm seeing here now. And I'm trying to see where, ew, oh my God. There's one called Foot Gusher. Oh my God, y'all. There are some that is so nasty in here. Oh my God. It looks like there's 10 really rare ones. Oh my God, look you guys, we actually got one of the, so the evil time is actually, um, oh, okay, no, never mind. Sorry, I got prematurely excited. So there is a rare evil time, but they say it sparkles. We did not get a sparkly one. So we just got the normal one. I'm going to go like that and like that. So you guys can see the chart. All right, up next, two down, two to go. Let's open this one. And <laughs> Top Secret is the one on the top. So obviously that's a spoof of Pop Secret, the popcorn. And let's go ahead and peel it back and see what's inside. Top Secret. So there's like, a mad scientist on here. It says, shh, experimental popcorn. Top secret, you have to be mad to eat it. <laughs> Some of the little jokes are so microscopic or either that or I can't, I can't see them. I don't know. That's upside down. That's right side up. All right, let's see here. We have Go Dirt, portable compost. It's supposed to be like Go-Gurt, but it's Go-Dirt. Ew. Let's see what the four shall be. We have this one. And it feels like another like jar. Ew, what is this? Lice cakes. Ew, instead of rice cakes, lice cakes. 
little crisp, wait, the crispy little bloodsuckers puffed larva snacks. DDT flavor? Is that like what you use to kill lice? Uh, that is so icky. Oh my gosh. But see, I wish they would have just done like the plastic kind of wrapper, you know, like the little like thin plastic that rice cakes comes in. Let me know. Do you think I'm being too picky? Like I do for whatever reason feel like these are the least detailed miniatures, unfortunately. And maybe that's because these are obviously just like made up products that, like I said, I don't really know anything about wacky packages, except for I think that they were like just cards, you know, like trading cards. So maybe that's why, cause there isn't any real product to mirror these off of. Whereas like the toy box minis and the mini brands and stuff, they actually have like complete physical references to go by. So this is, Zit cat, beef coated wafers for cats. And the cat <laughs> has like zits. I think that there was another Kit Kat option in the last set too. Or maybe it's just cause like this packaging like literally pretty much looks the exact same to me. The zit cats are just slightly smaller than this weird <laughs> rubber shoe joke we have going on. So awful bits, pest, instead of post. What is this cereal trying to be? I don't know. Free 24 volume set Encyclopedia Britannica in every box. Oh, oh alpha, alpha bits, cereal. Does that, is that still a cereal? So I guess it's a spoof off of post alpha bits cereal. So funny how I feel like there's just some cereals I've never had before. We got, ew! <laughs> okay, we got the Snapple spoof, which I'm so excited about. So this is called Scrapple. Iced pig scraps. See, some of this is just gross <laughs> for like the sake of grossness. Cause I would think like Snapple, you could just use like rotten fruit or something to make a Snapple spoof. But like iced pig scraps, what does that even mean? All porky with lemon peels made from the best, oh, made from the best styes on earth. Like a uh, pig sty? Isn't that where pigs, pigs sty? That's a word that I know, but I don't know the meaning of it. Like, is that where a pig lives in a pig sty? I don't know. Okay, pig for life. That's like, there's like a little symbol. You guys will see the details probably even better than I can see them on the camera, but I'm gonna have to say this one is like far and away my favorite one of the day. I think that that was it for that one. <laughs> I keep dumping the new ones on the old ones all out in the same spot. So I feel like I'm gonna miss one. All right, you guys, there's something with ants on the top, but I can't see what it is yet. So we're just gonna have to open it up and it's the last one. Should I get more of these? I'm kind of on the fence. I like it cause it's kind of funny to me to just like gross myself out over like stuff that I know is not, it's not really that gross. It's just when I'm reading it, I'm like, it's kind of gross. Okay, um, Ant Anton Man's Ant Farm Cake. I don't, this looks like familiar, but it's not a brand that I'm like familiar enough with to know what the actual brand is. Ant Farm Cake, chocolate something cake with red ants. Oh, chocolate angel food cake with red ants. That is so gross. Oh my God, okay. It's like those coffee cakes that I think you can get at like the front of Walmart or whatever. That's where I remember always seeing them. It's like they have the rotisserie chickens and these little like box cakes, but maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. So we have Grand Theft Audio Nice Diddy. I feel like Diddy is like not something anybody says anymore to like describe music. Like I feel like if I said, oh, that's a nice Diddy, like I feel like people would think I'm like an alien or something. If you like listen to something on the radio, that's a nice ditty. Like people would not, I feel like, no. All right, the game where you battle internet music pirates who illegally download tunes? What? I don't, 
What is going on here, you guys? What the heck? What does it mean? What does it mean? We have four left, you guys. Only four more times for me to be disgusted and confused. And we have sneeze it. Ew. Okay. Wise Crackers Crackers by Stunt Time. What's that joke? Stunt stun Time? With real sneezing powder. That is icky. Why is this so familiar? Did they have carryover from last year? I feel like I've already been disgusted by sneeze -its one time prior to this. But maybe they're just all so gross and confusing. They just trickle over from one season to the next. Okay, this is kind of funny. Holly Dent keeps your parrot's teeth sparkling. It's for the birds. So this is obviously supposed to be, the real product is also called Paula Dent, but it's just spelled different. But this is pretty funny because, wait, but don't parrots have like actual teeth or something? I feel like I was shocked the first time that I learned. Or, or is it just Photoshop? Because I feel like I've seen like, scary pictures of bird teeth online. I'm just at home Googling bird teeth. I don't know why I always thought birds just have like beaks, but then how would they like eat their food with the beaks? They have to have teeth, right? I don't know. We have more anvil. So we have another repeat and last wacky package. We've got Oh, okay, what is this? This is a play on The Sims, but it's called The Dims? Celebrity something simulator? I don't get this. Who is this supposed to be? It looks like it's Michael Jackson. Who's The Dims? I don't get it. I don't, I don't get it. Help me figure it out. What does it mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? Okay, I, I really don't know. I'm like, I can't tell who these other celebrities are. Maybe the Olsen twins? Who are these people? I don't know. Um, okay, let me take a quick look. I don't think we got any um, special edition ones because I'm looking again, there is a limited edition Scrapple, but it also says it sparkles and this one doesn't sparkle. Honestly, you guys, I wish we would have got, this is just so gross, like baby poop. What the heck? I just think it's funny because I do love the baby bottle pop candy but baby baby poop that is icky so you guys i'm honestly tempted to get more of these because in a weird way they're kind of like funny to me and you know it's creepy season so i it's kind of funny to like open some of these like the dark side of mini brands is always like what I like to refer to them as. I don't know. I kind of like them in a weird way. And that, that, those are all my thoughts. Let me know if you would like to see more of these. I can do another unboxing for them. Did Banana Man make it? He did. Were you right in your bet? Did you bet? I think Banana Man can hold on forever. Anyway, you guys, thank y'all so, so much for hanging out with me today and for watching. And next time you see me, I will hopefully have a full face of makeup, but uh, thank you guys so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Banana Pepper Squad today. And until I see you guys again, stay happy, stay healthy, stay sassy, stay banana peppery. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll be back again very, very soon. Bye!